Hello, famine of God's word. Some older Christians are searching for a church that has truth and reverence. Reminds me of a text in Joel 8.12 And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Or Amos puts it this way, Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. What most Christians don't realize, God's word has almost gone. For example, Revelation 22:14, God's word says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life. The NIV reads, Blessed are those who wash their robes, no bloods mentioned, that they may have the right to the tree of life. <laughs> who could believe that? almost every Christian university. It's their Bible of choice, even Seventh-day Adventists. A friend of mine stated in his sermon, I've been looking for a real Seventh-day Adventist church for some time now. One that preaches the beliefs of this church and with the reverence for the Creator God of the heavens and the earth the one who died and rose again for us. From the USA to NZ to Oz. He's still looking. Oh, they're friendly, worldly, and are more like a social club, having a form of godliness, but no power. Christ declares, there will exist similar unbelief concerning his second coming as the people of Noah's day knew not until the flood came and took them all away. In the words of our Saviour, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Silently, unnoticed as the midnight thief, will come the decisive hour which marks the fixing of every man's destiny the final withdrawal of mercy's offer to guilty men. Men will be unconscious that the final irrevocable decision has been pronounced in the sanctuary above. When the professed people of God are uniting with the world, living as they live and joining with them in forbidden pleasures, when the luxury of the world becomes the luxury of the church, when the marriage bells are chiming and all are looking forward to many years of worldly prosperity. Then, suddenly as the lightning flashes from the heavens, will come the end of their bright visions and delusive hopes. Jesus himself asked, When the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith in the earth? Will that apply to you and me, brother, sister? I hope not.